Hello everyone, my name is Heather Turner and for this organizational detective project I decided to do the company Windexy. Um, I'm currently in Biloxi, Mississippi. I'm from Jacksonville and I know that Windexy is very popular out in Jacksonville and we also have them here in Biloxi so that's why I decided to do them. Um, their mission is to earn trust and loyalty every day. Their values are teamwork, communication, leadership, and community. When Dixie has a wide variety of slogans that symbolize what they stand for in the public eye and to those that are employed with their company. Such slogans include beef, it's what's for dinner, getting better all the time, and fresh checked every day. When Dixie's main symbol is that of the red check mark. They have their own line of products within the store and many of which include their signature red check. The most popular of these items are the check colas. In the Win Dixie grocery store, there's a system of hierarchy. The chain of command breakdown within the stores usually begin with the top dog as a store director, followed by the co-director. Under the co-director is the center store manager, then the department managers, followed by assistant department managers. Finally, at the bottom of the hierarchy are the regular employees, which include part-time and full-time employees. The company is an equal opportunity employer. They prohibit harassment based on race, gender, religion, sex, age, national origin, sexual orientation, disability, and so forth. They encourage employees to request for special accommodations if necessary, such as for religious beliefs or disability needs. They do not tolerate discrimination. When Dixie tries to create a positive environment while working, they encourage interaction between employees and customers. While working in an atmosphere that has high volumes of traffic throughout the store every day, employees usually have to be upbeat. They not only have individual jobs to do, such as cashiering or working in particular departments, but employees have to provide customer service and help out as needed. Therefore, working in the stores, employees have to be able to handle a fast-paced job. When Winn-Dixie and Bilo merged together as of March 2012, Winn-Dixie had to cut $100 million in labor to focus on customers. The company decided to cut some top dog positions by combining work, creating new positions, and cutting some employees from full-time to part-time positions. When Dixie's Vice President of Human Resource and Team Members Relations, Robert Devine, stated that the flexibility in schedule part, scheduling part-time employees allowed for better customer response and satisfaction. As you can imagine, labor cuts were an issue for many employees. One website outlined numerous pros and cons for working in Winn-Dixie stores. Some reoccurring drawbacks included comments such as a lot of the upper management changes occurred, which made the chain of command confusing, limited hours for employees, and the pay was not competitive. Suggestions as to how Winn-Dixie could alleviate some of the drawbacks would be to consult the store employees by the masses. Corporate could have store directors set up meetings where employees could voice their opinion or leave anonymous suggestions for change. After collecting the suggestions, corporate could then formulate a plan and inform the employees as to what changes will occur in the employee's favor. Seems as though the issues with employees' hours are a top concern and should be addressed first, followed by the pay matter. When Dixie has a great base for how its company should be run and is overall pretty successful, with major changes occurring due to the Win Dixie Bilo merger, it is only a matter of time before the kinks get worked out of the system. Until then, the company will keep pushing forward and will hopefully become even better success in the future.